What is up, comic fans? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark. Today, I've got a very exciting video. I think this might be my first submission that I sent in for this year. I really haven't been sending a lot in to get graded from CGC, and I got a box back. So we're going to dive into it, talk about the services that I've had done on these books, look at the grades. We got some fantastic Silver Age key comic books to look at. Don't go anywhere. Hit that thumbs up. Check this out. <music> Huge shout out to the homies over at Big Time Collectibles. Be sure to check out their website. Follow them on social media. You don't want to miss out on the fantastic stuff they have going on. So if you watch my channel regularly, you would know that I uh, shout out all the time my good friend Justin over on Instagram for cleaning and pressing. And that's why I always use. And I think I've used like one other person other than Justin, maybe two before, before I started sending to Justin. Completely happy with him. Love his work. And I sent these books to Justin, and there was a snafu with his mail, uh, with getting the books. They got returned to me. Uh, I repackaged them, sent them again. There's just stuff going on. So that had it where I uh, ended up reaching out to my good friend here on the social meads. Here on the social meads. None other than Dustin from Two Brothers Comics. He's one of the guys I've known for the longest time here on YouTube and Instagram. And here recently, he started offering his services for grading and I mean, the cleaning and pressing and submitting and all that stuff. And I have my own account. I sent it through myself, but I was able to send these books to Dustin and let him work on them. And uh, if you saw the short that I put up about going to ABX, my local LCS, my local comic shop, I don't need to say my local local comic shop but my lcs abx comics and games i took a book and delivered it to him to let him open it that was also worked on by none other than dustin from uh the comic book chiropractor that's how you can find him on instagram and you can send books into him to get cleaned and pressed and all that and that's who these went to and uh i'm, I'm assuming i'm going to be ridiculously happy with him he really goes all out like he's been posting a lot of a lot of work that he's been doing on books, getting grade bumps, this and that. And uh, he's very meticulous. He's very meticulous. He has fantastic order forms on the front end and everything. And he goes through a checklist and checks off every little service that he does to the book, every little imperfection and everything. So we're going to go through these and I'll show you what I sent in. We'll talk about the book and I'll show you what the form that he sent back with it, with his grade projections. And we'll see how close Dustin was with his grade projection. So first up, Boom! Justice League of America issue number 20, 21, I think it is. Yeah, 21 from 1963. This is the reintroduction of the JSA in the Justice League of America title. It's the first Silver Age appearance of Our Man, Dr. Fate, Icicle, Wizard, and it's also really the first crisis. This is a mega key for DC Comics, like so influential. And dude, I got to tell you, this book looks really, really good. So before I do the grade reveal, I don't want to look at that. Let me show you what Dustin sent because I have it put in here. See, Justice League 21 right there. So this is part of the little sheet that he sends back to you. He had, Like I said, he has an itemized checklist of all the little things. But it says, heavy amount of color breaks on front cover, light staining on back cover, light staining to back cover, and crease on back cover from top to bottom breaks pages. So uh, yeah, it was a subscription crease going across the back. He said the projected grade he'd give this one was a 5 to a 5.0. So you can see that color breaking subscription crease down the back end of it there. So he said a 5 to a 5.0 is his projection for this beautiful book from 1963. And we have, boom, 5.0. So he guessed it spot on the money. Gorgeous book. I love me some JSA years. I'm a huge Justice Society of America fan. So there's the first one in here we've got three more to go so we'll go a little bit faster from here now that we have all that info i'll, I'll bag it up at the end so next up doo -doo -doo, this bottom one here we go so this is one of those dc villains that you just gotta love it showcase number 55 from 1965 featuring the first silver age appearance of none other than solomon grundy clearly you have an alan scott our man and Dr. Fate appearance, this beautiful book 
Let's see the credit says first solo Green Lantern in the Silver Age, first Silver Age appearance of Solomon Grundy, origin of Our Man and Doctor Fate in Tex Gardner Fox story, Murphy Anderson cover and art. I mean, look at that! Like DC has so many massive sleeper hits. Like I can't even imagine like uh, how many keys are just sitting out there, just waiting to be scooped up. So let's see where Justin uh, Dustin, I'm sorry, projected showcase number fifty-five. So he has this one at a five or a 5.5 a lot of the same errors with this one or defects with this one that that previous one had so the five or a 5.5 let's see boom 5.5 in all on the money with this projection there so he's got the whole grading thing down that definitely he could probably get a job at cdc that's gorgeous beautiful boy and that was well i think that was the dragon con when uh the wife forced me to go to Atlanta to you know, meet John Jang in person after all these, all these years. And we went and had a fantastic time meeting him. I was just trying to get in and out of Atlanta. Would you maybe check out some of the things while we're there and get some for myself? It was my birthday trip. And that's what I got up. Yeah. Yeah, I got. Pretty sure that's how that went. But next up, from 1972. This one's a little bit newer. This one would be a Bronze Age. And uh, 1972... Fantastic book here. It's the uh, first solo uh, origin of Swamp Thing, first appearance of Lieutenant Matt Cable, Alec, and Linda Holland. So this is Swamp Thing issue number one. So if y'all been watching my graded comic collection videos, you know I've got his first appearance in House of Secret 92, and I've had his issue number one for a long time. I actually traded an original Nintendo Entertainment System with a bunch of different games for a bunch of credit at a shop and. This was among the other books I got. It was a vintage video game shop. They just had a bunch of comics in a long box. And I got as many of them as he would come up off of. But this was one of the ones I got from him. This one I thought would be like the lowest grade out of the bunch. In my mind, it was in a lot worse shape than uh, it is. But yeah, it looks fantastic. I think he just did a really ton of work to it. So let's see what he had on this one. Some kind of blue substance in the purple text next to G on front cover. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. It looks like this the purple faded. Minor tears on top and bottom of back cover. Major impact on bottom of back cover, causing small tears in multiple pages. Light printer creases on top back cover. Seven to a seven five. So hitting a seven or a seven five on this book, I think, would have been like massive because these, these are all PC books for me. I'm not looking for value in these. And this one was just again, I wanted to be able to present it and display it with my house of secrets and everything. And it's just, I'm a huge swamp thing fan. Like he's just hanging out back here, but let's see what it's got. Is it going to be a seven to seven, five range? Jeez, nailed it. Seven, five. Dude, that's, that's massive. That's awesome. Seven, five gorgeous book, beautiful artwork. Absolutely fantastic. Super dope. So we got one more book and uh, this one is probably the most meaningful book out of any of these for me. Uh, my good friend Mike Becker did a charity mystery box on the Comic Vikings YouTube channel months and months ago. And uh, I wasn't not going to win a mystery box from him. He doesn't sell comics. He doesn't sell mystery boxes. He didn't even feel comfortable doing that. But he put one together and I wanted it because it's my buddy. And I didn't want him to feel pressure. And I just wanted to like support as best I could. And I got it from him. And inside of it, like he curated it for me. He knew that I was actively looking for a good copy of this book right here from 1966. Again, this is another issue from DC Showcase. Phenomenal series with so many keys in it. But uh, this is Showcase issue number 60. This is the first Silver Age appearance of my dude, the Spectre. Next to Hoarder's Hide, like uh, this, I love this guy. Like, uh, I think me and Scott bond over the fact that we both like the Spectre. I read modern comics and I let him know when he appears in books so he can go buy the original pages and everything. It's just a fantastic character. Jim Corgan is amazing. Just beautiful cover. Look at that. I mean, character design is awesome. It's just one of the original cosmic deity style characters. So let's see where Dustin put this book. So seven inch long color breaking crease. Bottom right front cover. Small stains on spine and back cover. Small tears on spine. Centerfold blown out on bottom staple. Cannot reattach. That's super sad. 4.5 or a 5 is what he's projecting. Long creases on front cover and centerfold 
are going to kill the grade points. Could be a 6.0 or better otherwise. That's sad. That's sad. Could be a 6.0 or better otherwise. So, yeah, that, that, that dang center gold. First silver age appearance of the Spectre Jim Corrigan and As Asmodus. Origin of the Spectre in tech. So, let's see. Is it a 4.0 to a 5? It is. <laughs> yeah. It happened to be the 6.0, like the high projection there. So that's that's absolutely fantastic to get that in a 6.0. This is like a this is a forever book for me, just absolutely amazing. So uh, if you didn't see that that YouTube short that I put up with the New Mutants 98 unboxing, mine's actually right here with my variant over top of it. But that I, uh, he projected it to be a 9.2 or 4.6 on a good day. And it, it came back a 9.6. So he's really hitting the high marks. Like he's right on his projections and even hitting those high projections. But a rundown again, Swamp Thing number one in a 7.5. Showcase number 55 in a 5.5. Justice League of America number 21 in a 5.0. Beautiful. All of these are off-white white pages as well. And then again, that Spectre book, just amazing, absolutely amazing. Big shout out to the comic chiropractor, Dustin, my boy, you did awesome. Uh, check out their Two Brothers YouTube channel. They're getting ready to relaunch and revamp it too. You're going to want to be there to see what they're going to do. I'm sure it's going to be something unique and special. They're really trying to come back strong with that. So give them a subscribe, support them and support Dustin in his ventures. And uh, let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite. And uh, I would love to hear some feedback from everybody. I appreciate you watching this long. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Even hit that join button. Check that out. I do have a channel membership. I uh, have a lot of fun with the channel members. We connect on here on social media. We do a lot of fun stuff. A lot of I try to give back to the members and everything. I cannot thank you guys enough for watching the video. But I'm out of here. So until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.